This is a update video on my monster fish tank. But really I'm gonna concentrate on the Paku. Paku is an amazing fish. This is an albino Paku, as you can tell. Most Pakus, they're grayish black. When they get bigger, they just get kind of ugly. They get really faded color. They lose any brightness. They lose that red belly they have. But the albinos, they completely get better as they age. As you can tell, look at look at that pink hue. Now he's not really hanging out in the light too much here. But you can just tell, I mean, his whole body's white. He's got the yellowish dorsal fin. He's got yellow on his, his rear fins. If you see his body, there's like a pinkish hue. And I know that's probably a lot from the krill I feed him. This, this guy can eat handfuls and handfuls of krill every day. Um, but he just is a gorgeous fish. I mean, he's gotta be close to three feet now. And if you check out his mouth, as these pakus get bigger, they start getting teeth. And you can see his teeth, they almost look like human molars. They, they, they really are very human-like. Um, they're just starting to come in. He's got obviously that nice red eye because he's albino. And he's not really an aggressive fish, I wouldn't say, but if you see, you see his mouth is a little banged up, he sometimes goes crazy and bangs into the glass, or in this case, acrylic. Uh, is his friend, but they fight a lot. The albino channel cat, which is actually longer than him, I think, now. But he's definitely the heaviest fish in this tank. And uh, once again, he is a vacuum cleaner of an eater. He will eat, doesn't matter how much food I put in this tank. I could put an unlimited amount of food into this tank. And I, and I swear to you, he will eat every last piece of it. Um, doesn't matter how much I put in, he never is full. He never will stop eating. So I, I don't overfeed him though. Because number one, I don't want this tank to be filled with disgusting waste. Okay, and also I don't want him to be obese because then that's going to shorten his life, obviously. I never thought I, he would, I would say that a fish would outgrow the 600 gallon tank, but you know, he's coming close to it. Obviously, he's still got plenty of room in the tank, but you know, he is pushing the limits of it. And I don't know if his, his growth will be retarded in any way because of the fact that there is a lot of fish in this tank, or at least now it looks like there is because uh, they've all gotten so big. But uh, this albino Paku is one of my favorite fishes. And like I said, he's almost like a little pet. He's like a dog. Uh, he's very predictable, but sometimes he, get his, he gets a little skittish and he can get scary when he swims super fast, back and forth. And, uh, you want to get out of his way. You don't want to get hit by him. This is, that's a lot of weight right there and a lot of mass, but uh, just a beautiful, beautiful fish. For those of you who don't know, the Pakus are in the Piranha family. That's why they have a very similar body shape. Obviously, they don't have the serrated razor teeth and they're not super aggressive like the piranhas are, but they definitely uh, love to eat. And uh, they look like big piranhas, because the piranhas don't get this big in size, but they're certainly in the same family. So hope you enjoyed the uh, albino Paku update, and uh, stay tuned for more on muscle fish. I'm Dave Palumbo.